Okay, uh, welcome to Abita Uganda e-learning and my name is Nelson Abitsamba. Uh, this is my telephone number and uh, this is our email that is e-learning at uh, shareability.net Okay, uh, in this video we are going to look at uh, <coughs> uh, the different questions uh, that are also asked uh, when you are dealing with uh, finding the number of uh, subsets in our recent video we are able to discuss uh, about uh, how we can find uh, the number of subsets and we are also able to practice uh, the uh, different examples and also proving uh, the numbers uh, if they say these are uh, these are eight subsets uh, is it true if we do uh, if we form uh, the subsets within uh, a given set uh, does it uh, really give us uh, the eight subset we proved that in our recent video if you haven't checked out on our video uh, concerning formation of subsets and also finding these uh, elements uh, please be able to first check up uh, those videos uh, before you watch out this one okay uh, so we are able to uh, discuss a variety but our main uh, purpose today is uh, to look around at uh, these questions and how uh, these questions are always set uh, is there different what with their different tricks so we are going to start one by one until we complete them so let's get started uh, for example we can see our question here is saying find the number of subsets in the following what in the following sets uh, that means we are going to find the number of subsets uh, when we have been given uh, the different sets our number one is having our set p uh, with these elements we have a one and a two uh, our number two is have is a set x uh, with an empty set uh, then our number three is um, a set uh, m uh, with a member called the cow then a uh, number four is uh, our set uh, n with prime numbers less than 10 uh, then another set is q with a b c up to e then another set is a set of voiles so uh, we are to form uh, subsets uh, within uh, these numbers as uh, they have told us find the number of subsets in uh, the following sets so that means in each and every set we have to form uh, the subsets uh, we doesn't know how many are they we doesn't know uh, they haven't given us any limit uh, with this we shall form as many as possible in these uh, questions so let's get started with our number one and we see uh, how we can uh, answer that remember they are saying find the number of a subset okay our number one is here they are saying find the number of subsets in that okay so let's get our pen here and uh, be able to calculate uh, some of these uh, numbers okay so our solution is going to be okay this is our number one our number one have been given our set p which is having uh, our sets one i will also have a two so uh, these are the sets uh, that are in our what in our set p so remember they want us to find uh, the number of uh, subsets uh, within uh, uh, this set of ours <coughs> so first of all we have also to to be uh, knowing our formula which is uh, 2 to the power n uh, uh, where our n 2 to the power n where our n is the number where n uh, is equal to number of elements okay number of what number of elements number of elements okay uh, so we can say that uh, uh, in using this formula we have to be knowing the number of what the number of elements in our set which is given so how do we find the number of elements uh, when you are given this uh, we say that we say 
uh, number of element of set P, okay, shall be equal to, you just need uh, counting them, how many are they? One, two, they are just only two, okay? So uh, after you have now identified the number of elements within our set, uh, then that means you can now be able to uh, uh, get uh, the two to power N, or solve of now the car, the car formula of ours, okay? So now here that means we shall be having our 2 to the power n, where n is the number of elements, and the number of elements have been have identified them as 2. So this means uh, our 2 to the power n is going to be 2 to the power what? Uh, to the power 2. Okay, so and we said uh, 2 power 2 is the same as uh, uh, 2 times, uh, times 2, 2 times. <coughs> Uh, which is also going to give us which is going to give us our what? our form okay so uh, that means <coughs> that in our set uh, which is given our set P uh, the number of subsets which are formed are four subsets so here you can just conclude and say uh, we have uh, can just conclude and say there are only four what? Four subsets. There are four what? There are four subsets within our set P. Okay. So uh, we also have uh, our question two. Our question two is having. Uh, uh, we have our set X with an empty what? With an empty set. So we shall also be able to find out uh, the number of subsets within that set. So also let's look at uh, our number two. Uh, let's look at our number two. We should also be able to calculate it from here. Uh, we have our set X uh, being equal to... Uh, being equal to our empty set. Uh, now, uh, when we have our set X uh, being equal to our empty set, what does it uh, clearly identify with an empty set? So that means, uh, that means we shall be having our number of elements, okay, our number of elements of X. The number of elements in our set X uh, shall be equal to <coughs> how many are they? Uh, of course it is empty. So when this set is empty uh, that means our number of elements in set uh, in set X shall be equal to zero. Okay? I'm saying our number of element in our set X uh, because our set X is an empty set uh, that means the number of element in our set X is equal to zero. Uh, then, uh, for us to be able to use our formula, which is 2 to the power n, uh, that means we shall be able to say 2 to the power, two to the power n, where n is the number of uh, elements in our set. Uh, that means we shall power our 2, shall be 2 to the power 0, okay? So uh, when we power and when we power any number to a zero, uh, this comes back to the concept that uh, uh, of using powers, uh, using powers, and uh, any number to power zero is that number. I mean, any number to power zero is one. Okay. So uh, when you say two to the power zero. Uh, this number shall be equal to what? Shall be equal to 1. Okay? Uh, please, this is a, a mathematical uh, statement or a mathematical rule that any number power 0 is 1. Okay? Uh, that should be in your mind that any number that is powered to 0 is 1. That is it and you can't change it that you have to understand it uh, that way. So that means uh, uh, the number of subsets, okay, the number of subsets in our set X, okay, number of subsets, so we can say our X uh, is equal to uh, only one subset. 
is equal to one subset. Okay, one sub what is equal to one subset. Uh, let me rub this. Okay, we are saying our set X is equal to only one sub subset. Uh, we learned how to prove uh, this. <coughs> of course, we can also prove it and say uh, why is it exactly why is an empty set having uh, one subset? Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, since we learned how to prove, uh, that is also very simple. We can do it. Uh, remember, here we only have uh, a set which is empty. Okay, uh, which was also part of the rule when we are forming a subset that uh, when given any subset, an empty set is part uh, is part of uh, the subset that should be formed. So uh, in this empty set, there is no any other variation that you can vary uh, this empty set with another one. It is just only one. So that's why when we are uh, when we are calculating. Uh, the number of subsets within an empty set we are able to get one hope that is fine and hope everyone has been able to understand that we are going to now proceed to another question uh, that is going to be our question our question two it's going to be our question two okay let's see our question two our question two our question two, our question two, where are you? All right. Uh, we have been able now to work upon uh, question one and question two. So uh, this is what we are going to uh, do in another what? In another, uh, in another lesson uh, that is coming ahead. So for this, let me say thank you very much. Uh, please be able to check out on the playlist such that you can be able to follow us as we are handling this topic by topic don't also forget to uh, subscribe uh, such that you can get any new lesson that we are to handle uh, both uh, uh, both uh, on our google classroom and also uh, on youtube uh, all can be uh, available that's the reason why we say uh, be able to subscribe god bless you have a nice uh, moment.